1001, 1002, 1003. Welcome back. I don't know if you heard me counting, but I did over a thousand. It's a deep burn. Today we're going to talk about the important steps you need to know when lifting an EDAC canopy system. Stay tuned. Because EDEC is a precision piece of equipment, it needs to be handled with care. Here are a few of the things you need to know. Proper lifting of the extra deck is critical to maintaining unit integrity, water tightness, and twisting. Your extra deck should be lifted using a spreading bar or beam with a single point to the crane and four points to the extra deck. The idea behind a spreader bar is to distribute the load of a lift across more than one point, increasing stability and decreasing the loads applied to the deck during hoisting. The ideal length of the spreading bar or beam is one-third the length of your deck. Use four equal length slings and connect two slings to each side of the spreading bar or beam with clevis shackles. Next, connect one sling to each of the four connection lifting points on the deck with clevis shackles, being careful not to cross the slings at the spreading bar connection points. You also want to connect a rope to an I-beam on the top outside edge of the canopy for a ground person to control the deck while it's being lifted and moved toward placement on the building. You are now ready to lift the deck for the first time. Apply upward pressure to the deck slowly to ensure that the deck moves equally and evenly without twisting. If the deck does not lift evenly or if twisting occurs, lower the deck and make sling adjustments and start the lifting process again. And remember, for success, you don't need to lift your E-deck canopy a thousand times. You just need to do it correctly once. Have a great day.